expression of his personality. For Duncan, it's calm, smooth, and steady. For Allen Iverson, it's quite the opposite. He plays the game with a reckless abandon that seems to reflect his turbulent career. Part of what makes Allen Iverson such an exciting player to watch is his explosiveness on the court. At any moment, he can go off. Iverson now with eight steals. Make it nine. nine. It's a playoff record. Cruises and solos for two. Allen Iverson, a playoff record, nine steals. Oh, my, take that. I mean, he's, he's a gift, man. He's a gift from God. He's a freak of nature. Imagine some of Michael Jordan's best moves. Now, speed it up a little. Put that 45 on a 33 RPM. Boom. I mean, that's Allen Iverson. Iverson accelerates, putting the speed on. He doesn't move like anything we know. It's quicker. Backdoor pass, Iverson, oh. twisting shot, and it counts. Iverson takes on all comers, count it, and a foul. Iverson putting against Ryder, loses Ryder, comes in deep. Following a footer, good. What a show. He may stand just six feet tall, but Allen Iverson's impact on the court is enormous. He's the, the little version of Shaquille O'Neal, because you can't stop Shaq and you can't stop Iverson. Let's see what Anthony does. Forget about it. Iverson for two. Iverson crosses over against Brown, gets two, and they ooh and ah here. I don't think there's one player, one defender, that will stop Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson has scored the Sixers' last 19 straight points. Yes! He is the man! Allen plays with an unrelenting passion, blending toughness, drive, and determination. But those who wonder where those qualities come from will find that there is another answer besides Allen himself. Iverson for the lead! Allen has been shaped as both a player and a person by his mother, Anne, who has always been by his side as the guiding force throughout his life. I love you with so much heart. I'm going to pass it on to you, baby. It's going to be wrong. Right, go ahead. You know, I remember one time we went on an AAU tournament when I was 13, and um, we didn't have no lights on in the house because she spent um, the money for the light bill on my sneakers. I always looked up to my mom, like she was the one that told me I could be anything that I wanted to be. You know, I believed it. And Allen would carry that confidence into his first NBA season. It's time to get down. Iverson, this is gonna be something with Stack Hill. He's slammed for two. For Iverson, the 1997 season would turn into one long highlight reel. He would capture the league's Rookie of the Year award while also making NBA history along the way. Yes, and there it is! Allen Iverson, four straight with 40 or more, breaking the Wilt Chamberlain standard that had stood for 37 years. Simply, simply amazing. What a week. Yet despite his personal accomplishments during his rookie season, there were those who had labeled Iverson as a selfish player, and his image would take a beating. It was probably best summed up by Charles Barkley, who said, it's me, myself, and Iverson. And that's the way he was perceived, and, and not necessarily wrongly so. Allen would also provide ammunition for critics who claimed he hadn't shown enough respect for the game's legends. He challenged Michael Jordan to the effect, in the first game they played, he said, I'm not afraid of Michael Jordan, I can play anybody. And in effect, it was interpreted as how dare he challenge Michael Jordan. Iverson has Jordan, the crowd is into it. Allen shakes free, gets two! You know, I don't want to be Michael Jordan, I don't want to be Magic, I don't want to be Bird or Isaiah, I don't want to be any of those guys. You know, when my career is over, I'm going to look in the mirror and say I did it my way. And Iverson's way would make him the personification of the brash hip-hop superstar. For Allen, it was simple. He was merely being true to himself, no matter what the rest of the world may have thought of him. People think because he has cornrows, and might be because he's black and from the hood, that he's bad. I don't wear a suit before and after a game, and I don't, I'm not clean cut, and, and I get knocked for that. 
So all of a sudden, I cut all my hair off and wear suits. Are you going to love me then? I'm still going to be the same person. After the Sixers won just 22 games in Allen's first season, the team turned to a new leader, veteran coach Larry Brown. And from the start, the old school coach was on a collision course with a player used to doing things his way. It's mind boggling to me when your team is not the most important thing. And he's doubled, hacked, fouled, <laughs> driven the ground, <laughs> takes another bruise. He's, I'm telling you, the little guy, he is something. Despite their differences, Larry Brown couldn't help but be intrigued by his star, not only because of his obvious talent, but also the incredible intensity with which he played. I always play with my heart. You know, I play with my heart first. And I owe that to my teammates. I owe it to myself, the fans of Philadelphia, my coaching staff. And they're on their feet. This house is rocking. Rebound volleyball by Ori, but it's taken off over there by Davis. Wrap around pass behind the back. Underneath, great play. What a play by Iverson. That's Allen Iverson at his pitch. Gradually, Brown got Iverson to accept his team-oriented concept, and their partnership would flourish in the 2001 season, with Allen surrounded by a cast of hard-working role players. The 76ers raced out to the NBA's best record. Iverson in the lane. Up and good! What a driving layup by Allen Iverson! AI sees all and hits all! Finally, it seemed that Larry Brown and Allen Iverson had put their conflict behind them. And the ultimate proof that things had changed came in the 2001 All-Star Game when Iverson was voted the most valuable player. Iverson down the lane, scooped it in! Who's my coach? Coach Brown. Is he around? This is, this is, you know, this is a tribute to Coach Brown. The thing that I'm proud of him is learning how to play. And he was a kid that was so competitive, wanted to play one against five every possession. And I just see his game developing. And he wants to win so badly. He's such an unbelievable competitor. And I'm learning a lot about him. Here's Allen for the tie. Allen would lead the Sixers to the Eastern Conference Finals. Allen Iverson exploding here in Game 7. With his brilliant play in this critical game, Iverson would put to rest any remaining questions about his leadership as he carried his team to the NBA Finals. Iverson runs down the floor. He puts his hand to his ear. He jumps with joy. He had an unbelievable 44-point performance here in Game 7. Reputations are made in the NBA playoffs, and Allen Iverson stamps his name in the annals of greatness. The 76ers are the Eastern Conference champions, and they're going to Tinsel time. Hey, yo, man. Y'all boys ain't no joke, man. I love y'all, man. Yo, I love y'all. Hey, yo, that's a, that's a team, man. That's a team right there, baby. It's Allen Iverson and Shaq. Truly a David and Goliath story. But the first blow would be struck by David in the form of Allen Iverson, as he would lead the underdog Sixers to victory in game one against the Lakers. Here's Iverson, Lou the defender, stays right with him. Allen wants to go, wants the baseline. He fires two balls, got it again! He steps around Lou and drilled it! He's way too good! And though Philadelphia would lose the series, the league's MVP won new respect from fans everywhere with his valiant performance against all odds. Is the little fella tough or what? Gets cracked and still gets it in. Though the Sixers remained contenders, Larry Brown would depart Philadelphia following the 2003 season. The long-running soap opera between coach and player was now over, but Allen Iverson would add new chapters to his phenomenal career with more playoff heroics. Backs up three ball on his way, he got it! Oh yeah, you gotta believe! He knocked out a three, and the crowd is going nuts again! And Allen Iverson raises his hands to the top of the first Union Center, and then palms his left ear and says, let me hear you." All that matters is you go out and play every game like it's your last. And then after the game's over, you can look in the mirror and say, I did all that I could. And now, you know, that's enough. I don't think anybody really understood how tough a guy Allen Iverson is. He is so tough. I don't know how much he weighs, but it's all guts. All guts and heart. You could not deter him. 
from taking the ball to the basket. You could knock him down 10 times in a row. The 11th time, he's still going to go there. And that may be Allen's greatest legacy, because throughout his career and his life, nothing has been able to keep him down. One of the game's smallest players has battled huge obstacles, and through it all, he has remained the foundation in Philadelphia. And Allen's shot is up and good again. He is single-handedly carrying the Sixers. Iverson leads his team with explosive offense, winning three league scoring titles during his career. But in Detroit, Ben Wallace has used dominating defense and determination to become the cornerstone of the Pistons. 